If you're one of the people out there that feels like you can't seem to lose weight and everyone's telling you to do cardio and you don't want to do cardio but you think you have to so you go out and do it, just know from here on out you do not have to do cardio in order to lose weight. You certainly can if you enjoy it but you do not have to. It's not a necessary part of losing body fat, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go over to EAT, which I think is sort of an ironic acronym for something when we're talking about exercise because it stands for Exercise Activity Thermogenesis, and this only accounts for about five to 10% of the total calories we burn a day. Okay, we'll talk about why that's constrained in a minute, but you know, we'll typically spend our time exercise either doing weight training or cardio or HIIT training. Now, my goal for every single person is to spend as much time during the week exercise time, I should say, during the week, focusing on building muscle to raise metabolism. Okay, that's one of the most important things you can do when it comes to uh, maximizing the amount of investment you put into burning calories at rest. Because think of it this way, would you rather invest a little bit of energy right now for a long-term gain and building up your metabolism, would spend 70% of your total calories a day, or would you rather consistently do cardio the rest of your life and only get about a five to 10% increase in the total calories you burn? I don't know about you, but 70 looks a lot more enticing to me. So anyway, we'll talk more about that towards the end in terms of how you should divide up your cardio versus your weight training to help you build more muscle and lose more fat.